Hello peeps and welcome back to Uplink. Alright, last time we completed a couple of missions and then we started the big LAN hack and failed miserably because we're idiots. So let's first of all start out this session by connecting to Intranic and make sure that our tracks are clear from the last hack. Alright, we've got a password authentication there, but nothing else. So, we are good. We kill the password authentication, and that's it. So, we need to find ARC's public access terminal. Which is right there. <clears throat> Let's take a look around and see if we can find it. ARC public access server, right there. I'm going to go ahead and connect to that. The administrator is Paul Burgess. So we need to highlight his phone system. And we need to unhighlight the public access server. And now we need to find his system. There it is. Load, bounce path, connect to him. Voice analyzer, go. There's a kitty making a lot of noise back there. All right. Who's there? All right, we have his voice print. We're going to save that there, and we may need that again in the future, so we're going to hold on to it. All right, uh, hold on just a second here. Come on, kitties. Out you go. Out you go. Nope. Out. Come on, Winky. Out you go. Out you go. Yet. You too. Come on. Out. Out. Oops, there we go. Or not. Okay, well. I guess you're staying. Whatever. Alright. So, we have our voice analysis. We're going to kill that. We're going to disconnect. We're just going to keep this loaded up. Now, we're going to redo the hack we did last time. We're going to load our bounce path. We're going to bounce through the ARC central mainframe. And we're going to connect to the ARC LAN. All right, and ta -da, let's see. We go. We are going to want our trace tracker up. We're not being traced at the moment. Bypass monitor. Bypass proxy. There we go. We're just going to put the voice analyzer up here for the moment. Open up the LAN page. Okay. Now we've already been through most of this. So we should be able to just connect right through a lot of this. All right, uh, we may need to actually connect on this one. So, cracker, password breaker, go. on that, and Cracker, Decipher, go. Proceed, proceed, disable security lock, and now we should be able to run through here. We're going to need to uh, land tools, land spoof, this subnet. Okay, we're connected through. 
We're going to connect through there. We're going to connect through there. Actually, no. We're going to back up. We're going to connect through there. We're going to spoof. No, we're going to spoof that. We're going to back. We're going to connect through. Actually, let's connect here. Crack password go. Kill the spoof. Land tool spoof. This system. Now we'll go back. We'll connect on there. We'll connect on there. On there. On there. Onto that lock. Onto the main server. Alright, now this is where the voice analysis is going to come in. We're going to connect. Voice print analysis. Play. Hello. We're being traced. I am the system administrator. My voice is my passport. Very far me. We're going to have the password breaker ready. We're going to crack it. Proceed. File server. Memory banks. File utilities. File copier. There's data one. Data two. Data three. Data 4, Data 5, Data 6, we have a problem, we need 20 gigaquads of space. Ah, how's he doing on the trace? Alright, he's not anywhere near us, so what we need to do, we need to... We're going to kill our decryptor. File utilities, file delete, decryptor. We're also going to kill our LAM probe, our IP probe. We're going to copy IP lookup up to there. We're going to copy decipher up to there. We're going to kill the decipher and the IP lookup. We're going to copy ARC Revelation 7. We're going to paste it there. We have two, three, four, five, six. We need to kill four more. We're going to delete land force. We're going to copy land scan and put it up there. We're going to delete land scan. We're going to copy land spoof. Oh. System administrator found me. Security, we're going to log delete. There, 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 and there. Now the system administrator catching us doesn't necessarily mean that we're busted. We are, however, going to start our motion sensor and keep an eye on that. Now we got everything except for Revelation Data 8. So, we're going to copy land spoof. We're going to paste land spoof down here. Actually, no, we're not, apparently. We're going to delete land spoof. We're going to paste it. Oops. Oh well, I just deleted my land spoof software. Whatever. Um, might not even need it. We're going to delete land scan. We're not going to need that for the moment. Uh, let's see here. We got seven. Let's see. 
I think I'm okay to go back. We'll disconnect, we'll load, we'll just brute force our way back through everything. Alright. Uh, let's see. Bypasser, monitor. Bypasser, proxy. Connect, connect, connect. Ah, uh, I gotta have the spoof. Alright, let's see if I can move a little bit of stuff. We're gonna copy log modifier, paste it down here. We're gonna copy, or we're gonna delete log modifier here. I'm gonna copy log undelete. Paste it down here. We're going to delete log undelete. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Alright, let's go back to uplink internal services. Go ahead and rebuy our LAN spoof software. We're going to go ahead and purchase that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should give us enough room to do what we need to do. So we're going to disconnect. We're going to load our bounce path. We're going to bounce through there. Through there. We're going to connect. And we're going to go bypasser monitor on you. Bypasser proxy on you. Connect. 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 Land tool. Land spoof. Spoof there. Back. Connect. 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 Uh, kill the spoof. Land tools. Land spoof. Back. Connect. Connect. Why do I not have any of my land tools anymore? Connect. 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 Voice print. Hello. Go. I am the system administrator. My voice is password breaker is ready. Very find me. Crack that. File utilities, file copier. We're gonna proceed. We're going to go to the file server, copy revelation 8.dat, paste it into there, and we're done, I think. Alright, we should be done. How is he doing and looking for us? He's traced us to there so far. Uh, so we're just going to disconnect. We're not going to give him a chance to find us this time. We're going to connect to internet. You can go to the admin section. Security, log delete, access logs. Kill that, kill that, kill that. Alright, now, you might have noticed when I was doing this that these files were encrypted. In order for I run more to do anything with them, we're going to have to decrypt them. Now, I deleted my decryptor in order to 
get the stuff that we needed to do this. So we're going to have to connect to Uptune, uh, Uplink Internal Services again. We're going to have to go software upgrades. We're going to have to rebuy our decryptor. So five gigaquads of space we're going to need. Uh, let's see, what can I get rid of? I can get rid of my land spoof software again. Oh, utilities, file copy. Let's go ahead and copy land spoof. We'll just leave that up for the moment. We're going to go file utilities, delete land spoof. We're going to purchase the decryptor. And now we're going to run the decryptor. On all of these files. Okay, we've decrypted all the files. It means we don't really need the decryptor anymore. We're going to delete the decryptor. We're going to paste our decipher back in there. Oh, no, we're not. It's gone. Oh, well. We're going to need that. So, we're going to wait, though. We're going to hold off on that. We are going to go ahead and disconnect. And we are just going to directly connect to the RMWAR file server. We're not doing anything illegal. They want us there. So we're going to just connect directly. And the code that they gave us for this mission was infiltrate. All right. So they have 89 gigaquads of space there. We need to go file copier. We need to just copy all of the revelation.dat files over. Now, they don't really have enough room here for everything, so in order to actually do anything with this, I'm going to have to delete that. And, well, that's interesting. I'm going to have to delete all of these, actually, in order to get the free space to line up. There we go. So let's go ahead and copy the files back. Dot zero. Dot one, dot two, dot three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so we have repeated, we have completed the mission that they wanted us. We're going to reply. We can see 90 gigaquads of useful data, which will help us perfect faith. Congratulations on your success, Agent Night Dagger. We are still not entirely confident that we can stop an outbreak of Revelation, but this data will certainly improve our chances. We have managed to determine that the reproductive systems in the Revelation virus are based on the data and code stolen from Darwin Research Associates a few weeks ago. The virus mutates, multiplies, and evolves, much like a real-life form. We believe the way to defeat it is to attack it with another virus that it cannot evolve against. Alright, so, we've completed this mission. We're going to go through and we are going to delete all of the Revelation data files. That's going to give us a crap load of space back. I'm going to disconnect from here. We didn't do anything illegal, so we don't need to worry about cleaning logs or anything. And we are going to go back to Uplink Internal Services. We're going to replace the software that we lost. So, in order to do all that, we had to kill most of our software. We still have our log modifier and our deleter. We got rid of our decryptor and our decipher, so we need to buy those back.
We got rid of, I believe, all of our land tools except for land spoof. No, we even got rid of land spoof, didn't we? So we got rid of all of our land tools. We're going to need to repurchase them. All right, our log deleter, I believe we should still have. Yes, our log modifier is still there. Our undeleter is still there. Our bypassers are still here. Monitor, proxy, firewall, yep. We still have our password baker, our breaker. We still have our trace tracker, and we still have our voice analyzer. So that recovered all of the files that we lost. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Actually, let's exit the market and go back to the new server. Uh, ARC central mainframe compromised. Industry experts have expressed surprise at the discovery that the ARC central mainframe was yesterday hacked wide open and over 50 gigaquads of data were stolen. The system has come under attack many times recently because of ARC's alleged involvement in the construction of some type of digital weapon, but it was previously believed to be impenetrable. The ARC central mainframe stores most of its critical data on a standalone file server which is physically disconnected from the rest of the internet. This ingenious system has stopped all previous attempts at access. We now know that somebody inside our company betrayed us, stated ARC's public relations officer in a press, meeting this, a press, a press release this morning. We have found equipment which suggests somebody temporarily connected the file server to the outside world with a remote link, which left the file server open to access for a few minutes. They must have been working with someone on the outside to pull this off. Wonder who that was. Faith is now version 5.0, Revelation is version 3.0. So, we are once again winning the war. Go ahead and fast forward. We still have about 15 minutes left on the recording. Now, notice my trace tracker or my motion sensor here has not changed color. Even if the system administrator catches you in a LAN, that does not mean that you've been busted. All it means is that they know where you're at and they can disconnect you. As long as you go clean up your logs, you're still okay. We're just waiting for a mail. Aramore Land System suffers crippling blow. Our Remore Corporation today released a press statement that said their primary computer system had been severely damaged by acts of a single hacker. It appears that most of their research on the system has been destroyed as well as the system itself. Our is said to have been devastated by this critical error of judgment. Our today claimed Andromeda Research Corporation was again responsible for this attack. It is not known what effect this will have on Project Faith, but it is known that the Aramore local area network was used to store a great deal of research on that topic. Faith is version 4, Revelation is version 3. We lost a little headway. Bank hack, not interested. Bank hack, not interested. Advanced Associates, not interested. Send me an email. Bank hack, who cares? Come on. Give me an email. Bank hack, who gives a gift? Ah. Uh, Revelation Ooh. launch due soon? Industry experts are holy crap, look at that. We have systems that are being attacked. 
Our tracer programs have just informed us a revelation has been released into the wild by Andromeda Research Corporation. Only a small number of systems are currently infected, but more will certainly follow. This is what we have been planning for. Revelation will infect the system, wait for a few minutes, then spread to two other systems. The original infected system will then be shut down. If too many systems get infected, we won't be able to stop it. Connect to our file server and download Revelation Tracker. This will keep you updated when systems become infected with Revelation so you can connect and disinfect them. You will also need to download Faith, our counter virus. This is run by copying it into the databanks of infected systems, dropping into a command prompt, and running it. There isn't much time. You have only minutes before Revelation spreads beyond control. Get moving. Codename Counterattack. Okay, so first thing we need to do is pause the game. We need to connect to the Aramore file server. We need to download Faith and Revelation Tracker. We need to run those. And then what we need to do is we need to connect to these systems, go into them, run Faith, and get out as fast as we can. Here's the catch-22. We only have a couple of minutes per system, and if one of these systems manages to survive, it's going to spread to two others. We do not have time to cover our tracks. We are probably going to be traced in the midst of doing this. So, what we need to do is we need to get a move on, like, right now. Connect to the file server. Faith in Chaos. We're going to File Utility, Copy, Revelation Tracker. No, File, Copy, Revelation Tracker. Paste it there. Go down. Copy, Faith. Paste it there. Other, we're going to run Revelation Tracker. Listening. We're going to disconnect. Alright. See these systems that are blinking up here? We don't have information on them. We need to find them. Fast. We are going to go IP lookup and we're going to type them in. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going to go 278.25... 258.712.868. Go. Quadra Corporation's internal services. Good. No! Damn it! Cat! Quadra Corporation's internal services. Highlights. Where's it at? There it is. Load the bounce path. Connect. Security. Cracker. Password breaker. Go. Now. Proceed. File server. File utilities. Copy. Faith. Denied access by firewall. Bypasser. Firewall bypass. Go. Bypasser. Proxy bypass. Go. Copier. Go there. Kill. Admin. Console. CD. CD USR CD USR run faith starting program faith start at success done cancel disconnect let's see if we already have the next one 793 dots no we don't 793.860.875.22 Damn it! Oh, we lost the systems. 976.84.686.797 Go. Global Associates... Sound Oops. Sound Wrong button. Uh, Global Associates Internal Services. We have that one. Already here. We're going to highlight it. Load bounce path. Find it. Connect. Bypass. Proxy. Bypass. Firewall. Cracker. Password breaker. Go.
Memory banks. Copy. Faith. File server. Paste. Faith. We have a fifth system now. Admin. Console. CD USR. Run. Faith. Started. Done. Okay. Next one is 539. Filter. Oops, no. Damn it. Damn it. Five three nine dot two oh four dot eight one four dot three one two. Go. Keytron. Low bounce path. Go. Bypass. Monitor. Bypass proxy, bypass firewall, crack password, go. While that's cracking, we will copy faith, go, file server, page down, paste faith, admin, console, cd, usr, run. Run faith. Another system is done. 57.274.857.96. Go. Bioware. Filter. Bring it up. Load. Connect. Bypass. Proxy. Damn. Lost it. Okay, we are not doing well. 676.332.150.68... Sound muted. Damn it. Sound resumed. Dot .687. Go. Electronica Industry Central Mainframe. We cannot get into a central mainframe in time. That system is gone. Forget it, move on. 952.798.652.334. And I typoed it. So, we need to go again. 952.798.652.334. Son of a bitch. 952.798.652.334. Not seven four. Go. Parametric. Highlights. Load. Load. Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Connect. Okay. Bypass proxy. Bypass firewall. Damn it. Bypass firewall. Crack. Password. Proceed. File server. Copy faith. Paste faith. Admin, console, cd, usr, run faith. We got that one. And another one is up. 911.773.873.568. Go. 4com, we can do that one. Highlight it. Load. Connect to 4Com. Cra bypass. Proxy. Bypass. Firewall. 
crack. Password. Copy faith. File server. Paste faith. Admin. Console. CD USR. Run faith. Damn, I didn't make it. Okay. 969.764.845.986. Sync solutions. Okay. We've got that already loaded. Load. Uh, where is Sync Solutions? VirtualNet. Sync Solutions is there. Connect. Bypass Proxy. Bypass Firewall. Crack. Password. Copy. Faith. File server. Up. Oh, lost it. We know you're busy, so we'll make this brief. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, no further outbreaks of revelation will occur. If you can stop the current outbreaks, we'll have beaten them. Good. Other IP lookup. 783.5.1.1.1. Two dot eight four seven dot three oh two. Go. P logic internal services. We've got it highlighted. Load. Where's it at? Data link. P logic. Connect. Bypass. No bypass. Crack. Password. Go. File utility. File ca... We lost it. Okay. 556.895.609.860. Universal technology. Okay, it's already highlighted. Load. Universal Technology. Connect. Bypass Proxy. Bypass Firewall. Crack Password. Copy. Faith. Proceed. File Server. File utilities, file delete something. Paste that. Close that. Admin. Console. Damn, lost it. Alright. 46.689.848.468. Proxy Industry Central Mainframe. It's done. It's dead. No stopping that. Uh, 486.457.288.959. Go. Action computers. Filter. Good. We already have it loaded. Uh, it's not there. It's not there. It's, uh, it's there. Good. Uh, bypass, proxy, bypass, firewall, crack, password, faith, file server, paste, faith, kill, admin, console, cd usr, run, faith, Got it. 
That one's purged. 40.179.99.313. Go. Virtua net central mainframe. It's dead. We can't stop it. 513.590.86.616. Go. Signy Networks. Internal services. Good. We have that one on tap. Uh, where is it? There it is. Connect. Bypass. Proxy. Bypass. May as well do it since we got it up. Bypass. Firewall. Crack password. Copy faith. Proceed. File server. Delete. You. Paste. Faith. Admin. Console. CD. USR. Run. Faith. Revelations purged. 211.434.266.981. Go. It's a central mainframe. We can't stop that one. Damn. Well, we got four more systems to deal with now. Uh, 976.84.686.797. Go. Global Industries. Filter. Load. Uh, wait, this one's already been hit. How is it? How is it we're coming back to this one? We may even already have faith in the. We do have faith in the file server. Admin, console, C, D, U, S, R, run, faith. Program started, revelation purged. Sound muted. Damn it. Sound resumed. 568.647.293.202. Go. Advanced Associate Central Mainframe, that one's dead, we can't stop it. Uh... 921.659.143.354. Go. Digicorp. We can do that. Filter. If we have it, load. Connect. Bypass the proxy. Bypass the firewall. Crack the password. Copy faith. File server. Paste faith. Admin. Console. Run faith. Purged. All right. 818.327.132.479. Go. Zion Associates, we can do this one. Filter. Load. Connect. Nope. No luck. Password. Break the password. Come on. Copy faith. File server. Paste faith. Admin. Console. CD USR. Run faith. Done. Purged. Okay. The last one is Advanced Associates Central Mainframe. I don't think there's any way we could possibly get into it in time. So, we're just going to have to. 
kind of... Oh. That is my wonderful... Your time is up alarm. Um, 229.845.714.542. Go. Juniper so or Jupiter Associates. We can do this one. Filter. We've already got it highlighted. Load. Connect. Bypass the proxy. Bypass the firewall. Crack the password. Copy faith. File server. Delete you. Paste faith. Admin. Console. CD USR. Run faith. Systems purged. Disconnect. For a uh, four eight five dot five eight nine dot three four dot one six nine. Go. Please be in internal services. Uh, IP not found. That's great. Um, four eight five dot five eight nine dot three four dot one six nine. Son of a bitch. 485.589.34.169. Parametric central mainframe. Damn. Okay. Parametric filter. Highlight that. Highlight that. Where is there? Where is the parametric? ARC, run more. ARC, parametric public access. Paul joins. We'll disconnect. We'll connect here real quick. We're going to try it. I don't think we're going to have time to do this, but... Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Okay. We're getting the voice recording now. Parametrics, internal services machine is there. Alright. Bypass. Ah, shit, we lost it. Uh, well, that was worthwhile. Uh, 256.404.131.569. Go. Ascendant Corporations. Or Ascendant Computers. Okay, we've got that one. We're gonna load our bounce path. We're gonna connect on to it. We're going to bypass the proxy. We're going to crack the password. No. Proceed. File server. File utilities. File copier. Grab faith. I'm going to paste faith. I'm going to go admin. We're going to go console. We're going to go CD USR. Run faith. Disconnect. We're going to go 991.113.660.831. Go. Terminal Corporation's Internal Services. We can do this one. Terminal Corporation's Internal Services is on our list. Connect. Bypass the proxy. Bypass the firewall. Crack the password. Copy faith. File server. 
Power Utilities, delete you. Paste you. Kill that. Admin. Console. CD. USR. Ron Faith. And we've cleared it. Disconnect. We know you're busy, so yada yada yada. Uh, congratulations, Agent Night Dagger. You have reached the next Umplink rating. Your rating is now Elite. Congratulations would seem in order. Not only have you stopped Revelation in its tracks, you've also wiped out any trace of the virus on the internet. As you are probably aware, ARC has been raided and won't be doing any more damage at, this, at any point in the future. The key members of the company are facing some serious charges. Once again, a sincere thank you from Aaron Moore Corporation. Security log deletes. This probably will not make much of a difference. Access logs. Just the sheer number of bounces that we have here, we are probably going to get disavowed. But we'll see. Alright, let's disconnect. Let's go to Uplink Internal Services. New server. Fast forward. Revelation virus stopped in its path. Within the last couple of hours, the Revelation virus was released into the internet by operatives at the controversial ARC. Experts within the industry had predicted this was about to happen, but were unprepared for the scale of the attack. However, Armour Corporation had been developing a countervirus known as Faith for the past few weeks, with the aid of government assistance, and have managed to stop the Revelation virus from spreading to too many systems. Federal agents busted into ARC shortly after the virus outbreak and arrested staff members suspected of involvement. A number of computer systems were also seized. This coincided with a worldwide effort to take down this rogue group within ARC. A number of uplink agents were also arrested in connection with the outbreak. It is not known what will become of Andromeda, but it is clear that many of the company executives have come to the end of their career at that company. Federal agents refused to comment at this time, but did say a statement would be released soon. I am way over my normal episode length, but we are going to keep going through this until we get to the end. The leader of Andromeda Group today issued a statement through his lawyer regarding his recent arrest for criminal damage to the, we to the web. In it, he outlines why he tried to destroy the internet that we all rely on. Firstly, I make no apologies for what I have done. My only regret is that I did not succeed, says the man who has not yet been identified by federal agents. The internet used to be a place of amazing opportunity and promise, the last remnant of free speech and true anonymity. Now it is little more than an extension of the evil of Western capitalism. Think of this. Do you have any idea how much money Aramore will make from recent events? This is why I tried to destroy the internet. It only serves to line the pockets of those who would try to control us. While the web exists, you will never be safe. Your entire life is on file, waiting for someone to tamper with it. Your lives are being destroyed by the computers that you so desperately try to defend. It is believed this man will spend several years in jail for his crime. They charged me my membership fee. Let's go ahead and fast forward. <coughs> Buddy Ugh. joined your channel. Aha! I found you! You found me, but I'm in the middle of recording. Microphone activated. Yes, you found me. I'm in the middle of recording. Ha! Uh -huh. your, 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 uh, your studio is set so no one can see if you're in it. Yeah, I know. That's not supposed to be, because then people can see you're in the middle of recording. Yeah, whatever. Um, leader of Andromeda jailed. The federal courts today found the CEO of ARC and the leader of Andromeda guilty of criminal destruction of data. The judge called the leader of Andromeda an evil and vindictive man who truly believes the world would be a better place in the state of anarchy. He went on to say he has little sympathy for both of the defendants. As punishments for their crime, both members will serve eight years imprisonment and be banned from the use of computers for life. I'm going through the post-log of Uplink. 
I finished the ARC side, or the Andromeda side, a few minutes ago here. Ah. I'm not a big fan. Meh. Takes a certain type of person. Uh, it's just not for me. Revelation, I'm... a retrospective. It would appear that the recent panic over Revelation was, as usual, totally unnecessary. The internet has suffered a number of high-profile scares since its foundation, and it has always survived. This incident was no different, and only serves to highlight the ease with which the public can be scared into thinking their lives are in danger. A special helpline was recently set up by federal agents for worried members of the public, and they so far have received an average of 10,000 calls a day from people who are terrified their life records are now wide open due to the recent security scare. They just keep calling, said a federal spokesman today. These people honestly believe that someone could just open up their records and change them as if they were in a public library. It's total hysteria. Since the collapse of, and the, of the Andromeda Group, ARC has been exposed as little more than a front for their activities and has shut down all operations. It is a wonder that no one, nobody noticed ARC never actually released any products. Air and War Corpor a Corporation yesterday launched their new active virus guard software called Faith. This is an extension of the tool used to defeat Revelation, and the makers claim it actively seeks out viruses and eradicates them. Sales have apparently been very promising. At the time of this writing, shares in Aramore Corporation had risen to a new high. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. I'm waiting to see if something happens. Uh, aren't you done with the game? I am. But I'm waiting to see if something happens. Like... Well, supposedly... A few weeks after you get done completing the Aaron Moore side of the game, mm -hmm. you get framed for a computer crime. Okay. Can you and get out of it? you have to blow up your gateway. So I'm waiting to see if my trace tracker, or if my motion sensor turns red. But... Hmm. As long as I'm into this now, I don't think it's going to happen. Alright, peeps. Well, I am way, way over my average of 40 minutes for a video on this one. I think this is like over an hour now. So I am going to call the episode here. This has been Night Dagger with Let's Play Uplink, Aaron Moreside. And um, a surprise entrance from Kozak. And a surprise entrance from Kozak Wolf. Um, but you know what? Stay tuned. We're not done yet. I backed up my save just before I started the Aramore side of the missions. It's time to go renegade. Next episode, we start the ARC missions. Catch you then, peeps.